Hi folks, it's Sai si again, and today I'm at Crowdy and Red Ruth for Cornwall Museum's Partnership Copyright Forum. Now Crowdy, which uh, by the way is Cornish word for workshop or shed, it's uh, Cornwall's largest creative um, workspace or hub, and it provides studio and office space for creative businesses. The Copyright Forum, it's a peer-led session, uh, it's for museums and galleries and other heritage organisations, and it's where staff and volunteers discuss any issues they've got with copyright. Uh, we also get an update on uh, current legislation while we're here. It's hosted by uh, Dr Jenny Lee, who I've worked with before. Uh, she's the digital coordinator for the CMP. Uh, of particular interest to me today is how best to deal with some photos that are found in the collection. These were taken by George Ellis, who uh, well, was a press photographer, and he took photos between the 1940s and the 1970s, which sort of documented life in mid-Cornwall. Anyway, i better get cracking. I've been stuck in traffic. So I shall catch you a bit later and let you know how I got on. Cheers. The meeting room at Crowdy had stunning views across Red Ruth, and the room came complete with an art installation in the form of an automaton. The work portrays Dolly Pentreath from Mausel, who was allegedly the last native speaker of the Cornish language and who died in 1777. The automaton was made by Carlos Zapata, and you can see it in action on his website. The Copyright Forum has helped me to resolve some of the issues for the photographs, and we now hope to display conservation copies of the prints in the exhibition. The following day, we had to say farewell to one of the museum volunteers, Peter Bannister. Peter has been with the museum for several years, and was a leading light in the restoration of a mobile crane. Here we can see him looking understandably confused as we led him to a surprise party in a shipping container. <laughs> More on the shipping containers in the next episode.